Hello everybody and welcome back to the And More Bus Videos YouTube channel. I'm And More Bus Videos, otherwise known as And More Central, and welcome to a video that quite a lot of you will have expected was coming. It doesn't surprise anyone um, that we are currently sat here at Rye Premier Inn Stand A with the Opta Solo, this time to note the M920 variation, so slightly longer, and we're about to drive the 349 service all the way to Wonson bus station. So yes, this is going to be an interesting video. Um, it's one that in the nicest way was going to happen. I mean, it shouldn't have taken anybody by surprise um, that we are currently sat here with this bus. Um, this is sort of when you buy something like the Optair Solo in the game. It's the kind of route you want to take um, this kind of bus on. So it's going to be a challenge because it is a slightly longer variation. However, as um, you'll have seen in previous videos, I did manage to take the street light, 10.8 meter um, round, um, and the C200, so the London City Bus 200, I believe is also 10.8 meters round this, um, these routes to 349 and 7. So this shouldn't be that difficult. Famous last words. Um, the route itself is timetable to take an hour and seven minutes. If it does or not is another question, um, but we shall see. Oh, there we go, that'll do. I didn't think it would actually work, if I'm honest, but... We'll move the bus forward so they're not all walking into the bus shelter. Yeah, it comes up for just before the bus station, actually, so there's not a million and one bus stops. It means it's not too bad. Now, let's actually sort the camera out. Let's open that, bob that in, close that. There we go. That's all up and working. The time is now bang and half ten. So let's um, get everybody on and make a move. So the vehicle itself that we're driving is, I believe, another amazing Mark Hodgkinson repaint uh, from the very, very talented individual that keeps all the old South Yorkshire liveries alive in Omsi. So the vehicle itself is Powell's bus. Also ended up with CT plus HCT group Powell's YJ55 VJO. That I believe upon the withdrawal um, or, or not withdrawal, even the closure um, of Powell's bus last year, last August, um, oh was. There's going to be a lot of that. There we go. Um, There's going to be a lot of complaining on this run. I can just tell. So, upon the closure of Powell's bus in August 2022, YG55 BJ, I believe, was one of the last. Um, new to Powell's bus vehicles in service at that point. They'd replaced quite a lot of the other vehicles. There wasn't many of the Dennis Trident ALX 400s left. Um, most of the other low-line uh, Millennium Tridents um, had also made a move and gone. Um, and they'd replaced all the stuff like the Darts with E200s and X Maltese Optair Solos. So another reason I'm also driving the M921 is because I've just been driving the M850 and totally forgot that this other variation existed. So that's that's my excuse. I did also see this repaint and for. Get a truck through there. Dear me, this is unacceptable. There we go. Thank you, everyone. It's always it's always confident boosting when we've been driving for three minutes and everybody on the bus has already made a single complaint. Here we 
we at the fun park here or something, dude? Man, that's wild. Oh my goodness, what is with the attitude of the customers? Usually, usually not an issue, but clearly today they're unhappy. But yeah, the vehicle itself, YJ55 BJO, um, ended up, I think, 55 or something similar in the um, Powell's bus fleet was when it was new um, to Powell's bus and then ended up at 1736. Seventeen thirty six when it was um, under the sort of um, leadership of HCT Group, so it became in four digit number was seventeen thirty six. That's what it was hey, withdrawn as, and thank you. Um, and it was numbered as that when I went on what would be my last ride on the bus with um, Powell's bus. It was, I believe, a few weeks, slash a month before the closure. Um, and I went in it on the A1 service. Um, and safe to say the bus, the, the gearbox, unfortunately, on the bus was not having a good time. Um, it was limping in and out of gears. and It was very, very sluggish on hills. So it's safe to say... Um, with it being in the blue Powell's bus livery, it's quite nice that driving the bus in the game, it's reflective of its heydays, um, and it's actually quite rapid. So, I'm glad we're not driving a solo in limp mode, that wouldn't be particularly nice. So I'm not sure if I drove the 349 in this direction or the 347. I haven't actually checked the videos. I've kind of just jumped in at right for, ooh, Powell bus, and thought, yeah, let, let's have a drive of that. That was about as far as my mindset went, if I'm honest, so. Must be said as well, the interior on this looks absolutely, like, it looks really nice, really tidy, like this kind of maquette that I, that I thought of recognise more as the double in bus maquette if we just have a look down um, um, good job I looked back up so what I refer to as the double in bus maquette um, it's, it, when it's retrimmed like this and looks just been done it looks really really tidy and it just seems as a, as a maquette it, it seems to take a, a lot longer to wear the rest of them tend to wear and um, look a bit untidy at an earlier date. These, this maquette just seems to keep looking pretty good um, throughout its use. Really, really nice styling. Makes a change to some of the other seats and maquettes, um, where if they wear, you know about it. You don't really want to mount the curve with the front tyre, but it's still about remembering um, where the axles are on this. Is that going to be a relatively okay screenshot? Oh, we're under the ground, this is not going to plan. That'll do. That's okay, I mean the lighting is not where I want it to be, but... Oh, 
Oh no, is, is it one she knows? I can't tell because he's in the building. Oh yes he does. Good job I stopped. Hey. Right, then we're definitely going to want some, yeah. I did already read that, but it's good when you're on a map like this to just double check just in case, because you kind of really don't want to get lost. So I haven't driven this route enough to have it with root arrows off, and I just... Thank you. Um, I just dared and... Um... Dared and drive it without them, because... You go somewhere and get lost and that's it. <laughs> Goodness knows how you get back into your actual route on a map like this. So this is just like 1736 on the A1 service from Sheffield to Meadowall via Waverley. Going down Parkway, down the hill. That's what this reminds me of. I've dared to think how, how slow this would have been up the hill um, in, its, in its last few um, weeks in service. I don't know what's happened to it. Um, I, I would have been surprised, in fairness, if it has been stripped for spares and scrapped, um, to be honest. It, it's sort of sad to say, but it, it was a very, very tired motor. It um, was 1736. Um, by, by the end, that is. Because all the rest of them were either when you were solos and it was like the last of the older generation. Um, in service with them, and it just it just didn't it didn't get the love and care that it should have got really. It, it is a shame, but sometimes buses are buses, and they they wear, they have tear, and God, they like to do that to these cars. Well then, at least we know how the brakes work. <laughs> and now we're off the dangerous dual carriageway, thank goodness for that. That was an interesting roundabout setup. I mean, I understand why it was dull. I get the realism factor. However, it was still a still a strange setup. Well, let's just pull it forward slightly so we're not loading them up on the junction. I'm gonna have to because of that car. Back it up a little bit so I don't wipe out the mirror. There is going to be a lot of curb cutting here because this, this route was intended for overhang. Uh, it's not, not intended. Um, for what I'm taking, unfortunately. It is intended to have a little bit of overhang. So those front tyres are going to end up bumping up and down, unfortunately, a little bit. Why is there a ramp out there? It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, 
Alright, fine. It's fine. <laughs> You've just been wrong, Rai. If you're not gonna survive, Rai, you're not gonna survive most of this route, I'm afraid. There we go. And I got somebody else waiting for me again! Don't uh, miss me. I'm gonna see us going around the state and thought, I'll oh, get on now. Can I go around another bit? I sort of had to double check, and I was like, it's fine. <laughs> Probably because they're complaining about the bus going over all the curbs, but switch on some daytime running lights as well. But at the end of the day, there's no way you can get around this route without. The front, the front axle going over the curbs at points, because as I say, it's intended for overhangers this room. Sorry, car, I didn't see you. Sorry. And I thought, I think there was also a person waiting for me again. I'm kind of like, I can't go around the cat. I can't do, I can't do that bus stop for third time. Yeah, they don't like the gearbox change. In the same way that they don't like it on the street light, they do not like the gearbox change on this. You let me out? You let me out, okay. Thank you. Yeah, it's the, jol the jolty gearbox they don't like in the same way they don't like it on the street light. And um, the exact same thing. That basically means a route like this, um, you haven't got a chance of your passengers staying on for the entire room. So how are we doing for time? Oh, we're bang on. Okay, absolutely bang on time. Excellent. I don't think it's doing too bad on the fast sections, to be fair. I was expecting to have a couple more problems, but it, it doesn't seem to be having a problem at all on this. Seems to be keeping up to speed on all the fast sections of out, and then having the agile, agile manoeuvrability um, on the corners and things, so it seems to work quite nicely. You're waiting to get off the bus, but I don't know where the next bus stop is. Wherever it is, you can get off.
Oh, we're now actually running, it depends on how far the next point is, but by the looks of it, we're running slightly early. I do like this route. The only issue is, is when I do drive it, it does take some concentration. So there is like lulls in the video where there's not any talking because it's you're that busy <laughs> on focusing um, not to crash the bus or get the bus stuck or for a car to crash into the bus or a person to walk into the bus that you tend to just have to be quite quiet and focused. In fairness, my first memory of actually knowing about this bus, um, it wasn't in blue, but it was in white with blue lettering on. It certainly wasn't in blue when I went on it, um, but I'm pretty certain it was it was white with yellow or white with blue powered bus lettering on. And I, I, I had the pleasure of sampling this vehicle on the 18 from Dinnington to Doncaster, a long on route. Um, basically, during the time of um, HCT Group operating the route, um, it became quite uneconomical to run. Um, the route was cut back from Diddington, terminated at Bramley near the depot, um, so it used to spin around at Bramley and go Doncaster, um, with the additional school run in between, and um, quite a frequent service during the day. And then it got cut back to literally just the school runs um, and the connecting services on and off the school runs at peak times. Um, and then unsurprisingly, um, with it being a commercial service, once um, Powell's bus closed, once Powell's went, um, the service was never resurrected. I think the only way that they did replace it, I believe they did, um, was for First Doncaster to introduce an additional work on the number 10 service that ran from, at the time, Rotherham to Doncaster, but now only goes Maltby um, to Doncaster. So they did add an additional working in on that um, to facilitate the trip that Powell's used to do on the 18 that pretty much followed an identical route. Now we are actually 3.4 um, minutes early, or 3.3, so see you for a few seconds, then we'll um, just update the update time. So I'll crack on with that. So there we go, so let's... Well, ourselves as 0.1 minutes late because we'll no doubt catch up that time. Well, 
what also doesn't help with this is when you've got the parked up vehicles the air traffic doesn't go around them and it just drives through them so sometimes you think all the cars are parked up and there's actually um, a moving car that's not something you get in real life it's a moving car traveling through the parked up ones that then takes you takes you rather by surprise So I definitely said second exit, so that's not one, that's two. Although I wouldn't want to go down that one anyway, really. It's fine. Now we're on our way to Lower Moncton that basically means the land of hills. So let's see how well this bus is going to cope. There's a, a blue blip up there that I imagine we've got to somehow get to. And I think, coming from the direction that we are, this is the bit where we have to go around some really tight corners and up some really steep gradients, one after another after another. So this is going to be interesting. I mean, we've got the gear lock just in case. So, and the gear locks on this do work. There we go, I will lock it into... There we go. We'll lock it into one. So, I mean, it means that we'll go a bit slower on the bits that level out. However, if we stay in this, it means we won't just fail on the hill. To that gear because it has leveled out. I do also have some regrets on having the car levels um, on this map as high as they currently are. There is some slight regret on that. Hey, there we go, we got round there without meeting the car because I was rather worried that if we did, I don't quite know if the bus would have started again. This bus has done really, really well. However, this vehicle in real life, um, in more recent times, would have not stood a chance um, on this hill.
Yeah, and then we don't go over the bridge and into the village on this run. That's only done by the 347. That is one headache that we don't have to do, that's always good. Or like I think when I think it was the street light attack on that, um, I believe it was, uh, we got down the hill and I was absolutely gunning it. Um, and I think I overdid it on a couple of the corners from memory. Um, overdid it on a couple of the corners, um, if memory serves me correctly. Where have all the cars gone? We had a lot of cars and now there's nothing. <laughs> Where have they all gone? Oh, this is probably why. This is the bit where we loop around, I believe it's Lower Moncton. Where some of the short work in 349's finish. Now, do we go via Lock? Lock V. Dun, 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 dun. Let's have a look. Stevie Station, Coppards Lane, the Co op, Newington Road, Butte Mellow. I don't. We don't go via Lockerly, I don't see it on here. That is actually quite good. <laughs> it's not somewhere I. Not somewhere I particularly want to go there if I can help it. Yep, there we go. This is definitely us. And we go around, spin at Coppard's Lane. Straight back up. My world, this is just too much. I've never experienced anything like this in this public carriage view. Okay. Bye then. Very glad we didn't meet that car going up that hill because we would have had to stop.
we were both very close to that wall, very close to that car. But usually, if you'd see a massive blue blue bus coming up the road, you'd stop. Uh, but clearly, clearly not there, and I wasn't willing to go all the way back around the corner again. So, but we just about fit through, so it's all right. Gearbox is having the time of its life at the moment. And this was the hill that the renowned famously failed on. Yeah, we're nearly, nearly there, I think, at this point. Um, so we are making some progress. So this is the this is the Lower Moncton to Wonsum section of the route. I think I've done this in all sorts of buses. I remember uh, more famously, I think, doing this in the street deck. So we should be fine on this section. I remember it was challenging in parts. However, it wasn't the be-all and end-all, really. So... Do wish to taxi it. Taxi'd be a little bit braver. And another section that the three four seven goes up. One of the another one of the more absurd bits of route. About 15 mile an hour around here. Come on, taxi. A bit quicker than this. There we go. I'll still catch him up on this corner coming up. There we go, off he goes. I'll catch him back up when we get to the top of the hill. And I'll catch him now. <laughs> okay. National speed limit, hopefully the car speeds up a bit. There we go, excellent. Vroom, vroom, vroom. I did like this blue livery. It would be quite nice if there is an ex-Powell's bus 
anywhere in existence. I'm, I'm not quite clued up on the specific operator um, pre-HCT. I'm, I'm quite knowledgeable HCT era, but not before that. But it would be quite nice if there are any improper preservation. Um, oh, thank goodness for that. Um, if one would end up in this, end up in this livery, it would be really good. Oh, not another one. <laughs> not another vehicle in front. Prefer my empty open road. But it would be quite nice to see one in this blue livery. It was quite iconic at, at the time. Obviously, Powell's, although by the time it closed, was totally different, but Powell's was also one of the last remaining post D reg operators, like competing post D reg operators. So it was it was a shame when the shot. That car went for me then. So, how are we doing for time? Nearly three minutes early again. I think it does help having this bus. I know when we, when I was at the C200 and the street light, we just about kept the time. Um, like, only just. So, it's quite nice to have, have a bus like this where it's nippy enough and agile enough to See how see how quick you can do the route really. See how quick you can do it in a safe manner. It's probably the probably the statement that should have been used there. Well it would be a nice thing when I do get time and permitted wet is the key word in that sentence. It would be quite nice to do a three four nine or seven out. Do the 314 circulars and then do a 34709 back. Um, and that would probably make quite a nice quite a nice live stream or something in fairness. It's definitely some food for thought there. Because I do prefer the 347 over this one. The 347 just has a little bit more a little bit more challenge to it. 349 is alright, there's challenging areas, but then you get a load of those open plane bits. That I do understand for realism exist, but it's nice to have a mix. Now the um, game has frozen. There we go. <laughs> Must be approaching um, once some quite quickly. The bump. <laughs> there we go. We are now picking up people. Oh, want some bus station and centre, I think. Right. See if that looks good as a screenshot. I don't think we've had the light in the correct place yet. Although it's not really been the, the main thing I've looked at, if I'm honest, so... That'll do. That looks nice. Don't walk to the boss. I mean, okay. I want to... about walking towards it. Otherwise, I'd have 
it was me personally, they let the bus get round the bend. So there we go, so down another narrow single track road. Possibly one of the last ones we're going to go down now. Oh, there is a person waiting. They are hidden, but they are waiting. So how are we doing for time? Nearly four minutes early, so we'll have to, when we get into the next town or village, we'll have to sort out the time, I think. As this individual gets on. Check. Sort something out off camera. Because we're about to have an alarm go off in about nine minutes if I wasn't careful. Um, and then we will speed the time up. One, one, two, three, four, five, there. And there we go, we're now 0 0.5 minutes late instead of four minutes early. That's one good thing about this, unlike real life, is you can you can speed up there we go. Sorry. You can speed up the time, um, so you're not having to wait around at the time point. Unlike in stuff like Train Simulator, where you do have to wait. Now it's 11.22, so we're not going to play at the school. So not via school is the one that I believe we're taking. I will just double check while we're stuck. Uh, perfect. Yeah, we're not school Beamer just just quite literally straight through me there we go Slight bit of oversteer there. One hundred and one places you do not want to meet a meet a car on <laughs> this game. Pretty much any single corner. You don't want to miss, meet a car in any corner on this map. Because it just caused some sort of havoc. Yeah, this is it's fine. It's fine. Now we'll go through the housing estate that I imagine with how many people are already picked up. We're picking up a fair few in the housing estate, one of which I can see waiting already. As I say that, we're not the 304, so we don't go all the way through the estate. The 304 goes down there and then winds through the entire housing estate. We, meanwhile, by the looks of it, don't. So that's good. Like yeah, you can tell we're near the end of the route. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. We've made it this far. Now, this is the bit I hate um, <coughs> in any long vehicle because you usually can't get the angle right. However, in the up here with the axles in front of the doors, it's easy. Uh, you know, no overhang required. Well, no overhang at risk is probably the better phrase.
Well, no, we still go through part of the housing estate then. It's fine. It's fine. I'm going round the corner. It's fine. Indicator's gonna fall, like the stock's gonna fall off if we aren't time to, to use Indicator at the moment. Okay for time. Yeah, that was a little bit quick, even by my standards. It's fine. You're all at you're all at the train station anyway, or nearly at the train station anyway. No one go, and then we'll go around. Round the arch because we don't go properly through it in this direction. And then there we go to the train station. Now, do we go through? I've absolutely. Oh no, we do. Yeah, we do. Because we saved the station now, then go through Asvin Comet and all of that lot. So we do save the retail park. So then shoot round the retail park, back to the train station, to the bus station, and then that's it. Job's done. In fairness, I do absolutely love driving this route. I just wish it was a little bit more OMSI passenger friendly, or do what some maps do, where they just don't have the people talking and it's just constantly screaming at you. When you're trying to when you're trying to go around corners, you have to hire some brake all the time because, in the nicest way, if you lived in the countryside and caught the bus, you'd kind of be used to it. Because if you meet a bus in a horrible place, nothing you can do apart from hire some brake. Then either that or drive straight through the bus or car or whatever you're coming to watch. So I'd rather not do. You wanting this? Well, people are now wanting to get off, so uh, <laughs> it was kind of worthwhile stopping. Not intended, but kind of worthwhile stopping. There we go. <laughs> now you clearly wanting a different route. Don't need the indicator on.
And there we go, back to the train station. Didn't mean to pop the horn, went for the door button, got the horn instead. We do go through the arch. I always forget this. Maybe you should stick to but to get to the railway station too, before you do have to go through it. Hey, we the fun park or something, dude. Man, man that's, that's a wild, wild drive. drive. It's fine. <laughs> there we go, 11.32, I believe we're due in at 37 and we are now pretty much on the approach. Want to want some bus station? Nobody's getting off there, so we'll go straight into this lane. van just went straight through a red light we are two minutes early again so yeah we we've done we've done pretty well on this run And there we go, that's boot, so the final stop is the bus station. So we've just about made it in one piece. I mean, the cars of, like that taxi, have tried to defeat us. But we have managed, we have prevailed. I love how I said that and then the taxi came around the corner, I was like, oh no, not now. We haven't made it this far just for this.
So there we go, with the handbrake on, the bus in neutral, we have arrived at Wonson Bus Station after an adventure from Rye on the 349 service. A lovely route, a lovely bus, and a perfect combination. Although you've got to bear in mind that you will have to mount some curves because you don't have that front overhang that you get with like the E200 MMCs or the street lights and things like that. If you do put that aside, it is a lovely, lovely bus um, and really, really nice on this route. As you could see, it didn't miss a beat at all. It was lovely and powerful on the hills. Um, it was lovely at cornering and manoeuvring, getting through all this tight tight narrow roads i didn't have an issue with any of them um and i mean even when cars tried to come towards us or, or fit through um really interesting gaps they got very very close to the bus but from what i could see none of them hit it even if some of them were a millimeter or two off so if you have enjoyed this video do be sure to click that like button so that more people can find it and enjoy like you have and if you want to already do be sure to subscribe to the and marbles videos youtube channel for more content like this from the simulation section with videos up to twice a week as well as an archive of over 5,000 backseat and engine focused public transport videos from the uk and beyond with buses trams trains and more there's something on there for everyone with additional 21 videos added to the archive each week there is also a specific um video playlist if you check the archive for powell's vehicles or powell's bus that does include uh, i believe at least two videos of this exact vehicle so you can see what it was like when i first went on it and what it was like just before the company shut um, and its future became quite unknown once again though i would like to thank you all for watching i really hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you all in the next one i make goodbye for now bye